Welcome to your Daily Revolution podcast. Today's topic, God will get us. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's go. This is your Daily Revolution. Live in prosperity. We show you how to do it. There's no luck about it. We got the strategic blueprint. My friends, great to be with you guys on another edition of your Daily Revolution. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. And listen, if you are listening to the podcast, all I ask is that you share it forward. Send it to someone who needs to hear it. Take a screenshot, tag me on social media, post it in your stories, and let a brother know you're listening. I'd appreciate that greatly. Let's dive in. So about a week ago, we were asked to sing in church. My boys love to sing. I love to sing. I love to play the piano. I've done all kinds of music, band, luau's, you name it, I've done it. Well, we were singing a song called How Can I Be? A good friend of mine wrote this song. Uh, back in the 90s. That's a great, great spiritual song. And we've sung it a number of times, so we're familiar with it. We practiced all week. And then came Sunday morning. And Sunday morning, that's early. And I I know how this works. I know that when I get up and sing on a Sunday morning, my wife and I, we start singing right as soon as we get up. We warm our voices up. We warm the vocal cords up, get the pipes ready to just blow. My sons didn't do that. And I was trying to tell them, hey, you got to warm up. We get over to the church to practice, and my son was frustrated. He just couldn't. He was cracking the whole time. Couldn't hit the notes. I'm like, oh, boy. But I knew. I knew. I know how this works. Anytime I'm involved in God's work, right, sharing the message, sharing the gospel, helping others feel God's love through the Spirit, through music, I just know. Like I know through experience that God's going to take care of us because we've done our part. And my son, it's like, he almost like, teary-eyed was like, I, I, I can't sing this today, Dad. I can't hit the note. It's my oldest. I said, son, God's going to get us, but I just need you to have faith. I just need you to exercise faith. Now, it's one thing for me to preach that in a congregation or in a class, but to, to say to my son, it's like, God's going to get us. I just need you to have some faith, bud. Just believe and trust he's going to take care of us. And he kept trying, but he's like, Dad, I can't do this. I said, son, just trust me. Okay, we Warm our voices up. When we're doing God's work, he's going to take care of us. Because whoever God calls, he qualifies. He's going to qualify. So I'm, just, you know, I'm saying these things to him because in my experience, every time that I've ever sung in church, every time, I, every time I've ever done something right, that, that I believe is for God, he has a way of coming through and enhancing my abilities, blessing me, strengthening me, filling my mouth with the words that need to be said. So, of course, I'm like, do you trust me? He's like, yeah, I'm like, just sing, let's sing the hymns in church. Let's just warm up and trust me when you get up there. And then this is what, like, this is kind of the, the main point. It's not about you singing good and sounding good, bud. This, this has nothing to do with us looking good. This has everything to do with us being messengers for God and allowing his spirit to work through us so that people in the congregation can be touched. And it was amazing because my sons were like, okay, we get up to sing. And of course I start playing the piano and right away, like I knew, I knew it was going to be on. And my sons started singing and I was like, thank you, God. Thank you for blessing my sons. Of course we sing the song. I'm in tears from the piano. My boys sit down and I look through the congregation and a lot of folks, it's emotional. That was amazing because people come up to us after and they'll say, hey, good job. Thank you so much. And they say what they say. And, you know, like, thank you. I teach my boys to be gracious. And a number of people have reached out messages. I wanted to read a message from someone who talked to, he's, he's the leader of our congregation. He's, that's, we call him a bishop. And I got this message that says, Dear Brother Nolly, my name is, I won't say his name, I was visiting Destin from out of town. I did not have any church clothes with me, but I'm so glad I attended your award. We loved hearing your sons, your sons sing that very inspirational song. Will you thank them for us, for their hard work, their preparation and guts to do it, even though they had reservations today? Brother Nolly, I have been struggling with some very unique personal challenges in my life. Thank you for reminding me about some fundamental precepts. By the way, I spoke. So we sang and then I, I delivered the last probably 20 minutes of the meeting. And he says, uh, thank you for reminding me about some fundamental precepts that we sometimes forget. I need to stop asking the world for advice and study 
ponder, and pray to Heavenly Father for answers. And shut up and listen to the still small voice. You reminded me today that I need to submit to the will of God and feast upon his word in order to receive the answers I seek. I will strive to do this and then try to trust God sufficiently to take appropriate action as he directs. If this all somehow doesn't work to help me resolve my conflict, maybe I can enlist your help as a bouncer to deter the man. So that he's got some jokes here, but you know, it's amazing. Like here's another message from someone again, because these messages get forwarded to me. I, I appreciate you and your family. Thank you for all you do. I told your boys how much I enjoyed and appreciated the song you shared with us. The motivation and inspiration that you help our, our family and our ward by sharing is a huge blessing. There's a number of messages that people have shared. And the reason I'm sharing this podcast with you guys is real simple. If you ever feel that you are on the Lord's errand, I'm telling you right now, ask him to bless you and to help you and to qualify you. And even if you're not, let's say you're playing football. I played football for a long time, high school and the college into the NFL. Guess what I did? I was asking God to help me because one of my core beliefs is that God wants us to, to ask him for help. Why wouldn't he help us with our, the moves we make financially and the things we do in sports for our children? I remember growing up, people said, does God care about football? And I was like, oh, man, does he care about this thing called football? And someone says, I don't know if he cares about football. But I know he cares about you, and if football is important to you, then it matters to him. And I've been blessed tremendously in my life. So what's the whole point of this podcast? God's going to get you, but you got to do your part. And I believe God is loving, like all-knowing, all-powerful, just this loving person. And if we ask him in faith, ask him, like really believing bless us. He blessed my sons. He's blessed me. He's, he's really guided us and taken care of us. And for those who listen to this podcast, I do believe in God. I believe in Jesus. Uh, there's so many things that I believe in that I won't share too much on here because they're very personal and sacred to me. But I do know that if we exercise faith and pray and do all that we can do, there is a grace that comes from Jesus and there's a power that comes from heaven to help us as fathers, as husbands, as, as wives, as mothers, to help us in our marriage, to help us in our jobs, to help us on our journey and our progress. And I believe that sometimes we just play a too small of a game, right? The game we play is just so small. Like instead of going and playing a bigger game, we don't exercise faith in this all-powerful God. So for those of you, regardless of your job, regardless of what you're doing, God's going to get you, but you got to do your part. And I, I have a deep, deep testimony, like a real not. I know he'll take care of us if we do our part and do all we can uh, to be in alignment with his will and his work. Have a great day, my friends. I appreciate you listening. This is your daily revolution. Live in prosperity, we show you how to do it. There's no luck about it, we got the strategic blueprint. This is the your daily revolution. You already know. And if you don't, then check my resume. Turning pressure into possibilities every day. We all can win and live our unique purpose. We change our mindsets and put the work in. This is the your daily revolution. Daily revolution. Revol 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 revolution. Your daily revolution podcast. Ah. I just happened to receive a recorded version of the song, and I wanted to leave it here at the end of the podcast. The song is called How Can I Be? The words and the music and arrangement all by the original composer, Nella Otuafi. And enjoy the song that my son sing. You can tell there's recorded from the cell phone because there's a lot of moving of the cell phone, but listen through that and enjoy the music.
Oh, tell me how.